Now, Berlin is not the only other active brush fire here in the state. You can see right here, there are six other areas right now that are they're keeping an eye on. Yeah, you're looking at all the locations right here. Another fire sparked in East Thompson, in addition to the locations in Canaan, Burlington, Vernon, Weston, and East Line. And now to the concerned folks living closest to the chaos here. Many neighborhoods, of course, in Berlin are now seeing the fire right from their driveways. Yeah, it really is pretty unbelievable. Channel 3's Dylan Fearon live in Berlin tonight as the community there keeping a very close eye on this situation, Dylan. Well, Mark, Aaron, they have to. I mean, up until today, you could still smell the smoke down here. It was giving people some issues for a couple of days. We're in a condo complex right now. And look, here's some of the homes. And then just above and beyond us is the fire with two major hotspots. And as A mentioned, those helicopters keep circling around us every few minutes. The National Guard continues dumping thousands of gallons of water on the Berlin brush fire. I mean, my house is right into the woods. Concerned with a remarkable view is Mark Russick walking his 16-year-old dog named Mama Mia. That's what Mark certainly shouted when he looked outside his condo Monday and saw the mountain on fire. I never would have thought of this in a million years. It's absolutely um, incredible, the response that they've had. Um, the first responders are amazing. Mark's able to walk today, but saying earlier in the week, the smoke was so unbearable, his clothes were smelling like a campfire within minutes. Yeah, the smoke was the worst part for us. I'm very thankful for them because without the first responders, my house could not possibly be here today. Kathy Duvays lived in this 55 and over complex for a year and a half. Thrilled to see improvement thanks to the hard work from first responders. It was good. It's It's been a little frightening, but we'll deal with it. Well, you, re you didn't want to stay out very long. My girlfriend, we, we didn't walk at all those days. You know? But there is concern for the firefighters. The folks here are so grateful they're keeping their home safe, but they're heartbroken over the death of hero and brave Weathersfield volunteer Robert Sharkovich. He this is what he loved to do, and it took his life. And that, there's just no way you can comprehend that. There were also a few people here who were planning a potential evacuation in case this fire worsened. Luckily, that hasn't been necessary. Mark and Aaron, first responders working very hard and improving things today. And we'll hear from officials coming up later tonight at 9 o'clock. We're live in Berlin. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.